Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be answering a question that I got on Instagram from Jordan Taylor Davin. So, as always, before we get into any video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow me on Instagram or LinkedIn. On any of those socials, please feel free to message me any questions you may have, and I'll likely answer them in a future video. So Jordan asked about my day-to-day -day role in engineering. So right now I'm the principal of my own firm. So I often act as a business development uh, liaison between our clients and our internal staff. I also am the principal structural engineer. So I make sure that uh, all the projects that I'm involved with uh, go out with quality and are structurally sound. I'm also the one doing the coaching and the peer reviews for uh, the junior staff's work. So I'm more in that, uh, that intermediate to senior role right now. Um, day to day you'll see me, uh, usually in the morning I'll be at the office uh, doing some coaching, doing some uh, some calculations, some analysis, working with the team. And then around lunch I always like to go to the gym or do something active. In the afternoon that's usually when I like to book my site visits. So when the sun's out it's a little bit easier to get around. Um, there's not as much commotion at the office. Everybody's kind of already in the groove. So that's usually when I do the site visits. Um, and then usually near the end of the day I like to come back to the office and uh, wrap up with the team. And then uh, right now <laughs> I've been picking up my kids after school. So the second question is what could I have done more in college to be more successful? Well, this is kind of a three prong approach. Um, the first one I tell everybody is to believe in yourself. I often notice I'm either wearing unbranded or, uh, or Comrie branded clothing because I'm not gonna go out and spend 30 to $50 uh, to represent somebody else. So maybe that's not the best way of spinning it, but however, I'd rather put money into uh, investing in myself and my brand and who I wanna be uh, as opposed to investing in others. And then also believe in yourself as in don't be scared to take risks. Like um, if you have an idea for a business or if you have an idea for a product you wanna develop, find the right people, get in with them and try to work on it together so that you may be able to you know, develop that product, develop that idea. And, and the biggest thing that I wanna kinda of stress is that when you're in school, you think that the world is such a scary place, everything's impossible, you have to have a lot of money to get anything off the ground. And all that's not true. I think the biggest thing is once you've invested in yourself, that's you know through reading, watching uh, informative television, um, one big show that I, I would stress for people to watch is either uh, Shark Tank or Dragon's Den. Uh, especially the engineering side, you see a lot of innovators, entrepreneurs in there, and there's really good critical feedback from people who have done it in the industry. And the greatest thing about that is it's free. It's free feedback and it's free learning and it's also kind of entertaining. Uh, so that's, that's something I would recommend. Something else I would have uh, wished that I would have done earlier, set goals. Honestly, like setting goals, Arnold Schwarzenegger has a good video on that. I'll link it in the description, but it really uh, puts emphasis on setting your goals early and working towards those. Once you have your goals set, once you have a path, everything else is easy. You just put the steps in the ladder and you get there, right? So setting goals is honestly something I wish I would have done a lot earlier. I think I first sat down and actually started looking at goals about seven years ago, and that's just not long enough. I wish I would have done that, you know, since the age of... Uh, 18, 19, even earlier to be honest. The last thing I tell everybody is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Um, and that's my issue is when I was in school, I was relying on my you know natural uh, ability to kind of get by. And then I think it was until I started my master's degree that I realized that, okay, like if you want to actually do something uh, bigger and, uh, and better, you have to sit down and put the work in. If you have talent, you'll go a lot faster than everybody else. And that's fine. But at the end of the day, you got to get in the trenches and you got to work hard. From 20 to 25, those are your key years to set up the rest of your future. And on, if you guys are watching this, you guys probably have the mindset that you want to better yourself and you want to become better uh, engineers or entrepreneurs or whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, just remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. That's something I tell everybody. And that's something that if you're watching this, take away, take this away. Um, if you're likely an engineering student or an engineering professional, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard and just remember that. So the second part of the question is if I could have changed anything regarding my studying um, and what I focused on, I would have probably tried to figure out that I wanted to go more into the structural field uh, earlier on. So, um, you know, in school you kind of don't really know what you're into. You might need to take a, a geotechnical approach or, or whatever it may be, an infrastructure role. Um, but what I would say is honestly figure out, like, go and just, like, look at channels like mine. Uh, Matt Picardo is like, also another good one on the structural side. Uh, and there's lots on YouTube. And watch those people and see what they're kind of doing. Their days in the life. I think everybody's got one of those out there now. And it'll give you an insight on what people are doing. And the best thing you can do is just reach out to us. Like, um, I know Matt Picardo is really good at answering uh, LinkedIn. I'm really good on Instagram and, uh, and LinkedIn as well. Just reach out to people and just ask those specific questions because I think it's a, on a case-by-case -case basis on what you could have done to, uh, to be more focused. 
Uh, and then the, the academic side, like I think that's something you just figure out. Um, what, what courses you're taking, uh, it's, again, you put the work in and you'll, you'll do well. Um, there's also something that I call a smart studying, if that's what you're referring to, Jordan. Um, it, it's kind of understanding what you're trying to get out of your study session. So setting goals prior to studying and, uh, and working towards those as opposed to just blindly studying. So it's like, a, it's like if you're playing an instrument. So I used to play drums as a kid. Something I'd, I would always, well, I never really did, but that was always recommended to me is that when you sit down behind the drum kit, you kind of put a list of things that you want to work on today. And that's really how you make the most, like a 45 minute session uh, focused is a lot better than a three hour session unfocused. Um, so that's something else I'd put, put out there for you guys. Anyways, as always, thanks a lot for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, lots of great content coming. Follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. And don't hesitate to get a hold of me because I love getting in touch with you guys and kind of building this community. That's really what I'm, I'm loving here is the community.